these free keyword research hacks will help you grow on Pinterest. I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I start, I just want to invite you to my completely free school community. If you are serious about growing on Pinterest and starting your blog, you can just check out the link in the description. As of today, in 2025, there are a lot of different strategies to help you with keyword research. You can ask ChatGPT, you can use some other tools, but Pinklix, it's the only tool that has access to this massive database of keywords that no other tool has. I just want to show you some of the results that people are having with this tool. As you can see, this person gets 1 million outbound clicks per month. So 1 million of traffic is basically like 20 or 30K US dollars per month from ad revenue, just from ad revenue. So this is a crazy amount. When you log in, you will see this interface and you will see the Keyword Explorer. It's a new feature that was announced just a couple of days ago and I'm loving it, honestly. It's just awesome. So the way it works, it's basically a huge database of all keywords that are there available on Pinterest. So let's say that you have a blog about recipes and about food. So if we type in beef recipes, we are going to see all of the most relevant keywords with their search volume. So we have dozens, even hundreds of different keywords that we can potentially target on our blog. And this is a very big deal because now instead of doing keyword research blindly and targeting keywords that are not necessarily that good, we can focus specifically on 10, 20 or 30 keywords that are driving the most traffic on the platform. Okay, so let's assume that you have this food blog and you want to create more content about beef recipes. What you can do now is you can just select some of these keywords. Let's choose the best ones. You can select it and copy it and go to ChatGPT or DeepSeek. So in this video, I'm gonna be using DeepSeek and this little prompt, which says, below you can find my Pinterest keyword research. Based on that data, come up with 10 Pinterest board ideas. For each Pinterest board, come up with 10 to 15 new article ideas that target specific keywords related to that board. Now you can paste all of the research, just enter it and see what happens. So after one or two minutes, you will get this massive list of potential boards and articles that you can create for your blog. So now we have, what, 150 articles that we can potentially add to our site. And that's a massive help because now we can just follow the schedule, create all of these boards, create all of these articles, and we will end up with 10 high quality boards and 150 articles that people want to search for. Of course, the more popular the keyword is, the more competition you are going to see. So it is a good idea to target less popular keywords as well. And even if the keyword has like 2000 or 3000 searches per month, that can still bring a lot of traffic to your site, especially if you have a lot of articles. But what matters the most is the fact that with pin clicks, you can just see the search volume and you can see all of these different variations of the target keywords. So I highly recommend checking it out. The second strategy I wanna show you is the feature called top pins. So if you click on top pins here and you search for any keyword, so let's say, Italian meatballs. So if you go to Pinterest and search for Italian meatballs, you will see all of these pins and we can sort them out by the position and we can see that all of these pins are currently ranking number one, two, three, four, and so on. So as you can see, the first pin has over 14,000 saves and it definitely brings a lot of traffic to that website. So what you can do now, you can just see what ranks best and what kind of images work best for the positions from one to five. And you can check out what keywords they are using. Not many people are aware that Pinterest has its own internal system that classifies pins. So for example, this image is connected to all of these keywords that you can see here. Meatball easy recipe, meatballs from ground beef, best beef meatballs, and so on. So if you would create similar pin about the Italian meatballs and you would potentially use all of these keywords, you have a high chance of ranking high because you are using the exact annotated interests that Pinterest is using for a pin number one. So the strategy here is very simple. You have to check out who ranks as number one. You can check out with pin clicks all of their annotated interests 
just click here to copy that and to use some of these keywords in your title and in the description. And that's pretty much it. This is a very simple strategy. It's nothing complicated. And I've been doing it for a couple of months and I can confirm that it works. My account was growing very steadily and it still is growing. Third strategy that you can use, which is very powerful as well, is spying directly on your competitors. So in this case, let's see what no dash of gluten is doing. So we can go to account explorer and just search for any account that there is on Pinterest. In this case, we are looking at no dash of gluten. I have no idea who is running this website, but they are clearly doing something right because they have a lot of monthly views. The reach is awesome. 13,000 followers. 8,000 pins and only 27 boards, which is quite interesting. If you scroll down, you will be able to see all of the keywords that they are currently ranking as number one. So that's a lot of keywords, so their traffic must be awesome. If you would like to compete with that site, you could potentially go to their Pinterest account and just copy their boards, use the same boards, create your own boards with the same keywords, and you can create content with keywords that they are targeting and they are ranking as number one. Because if they are ranking as number one for high volume keywords, it means that people are searching for these keywords. So again, it's a very powerful tool because now you can potentially create literally the same boards, target the same boards with the same keywords and create content that targets the same keywords as they are ranking as number one. Because even if you would not rank as number one, you could potentially rank as number five or number 10, and that would still bring traffic to your site. And maybe some people will think that it's not that cool to just copy keywords from competitors, but the truth is that that's the game. That's how it works. And I'm sure that there will be people who will be stealing your keywords as well. So again, you could just copy all of these keywords, paste it to DeepSeek or ChatGPT, ask it to give you ideas for your own articles and you can take it from there. Okay, I hope that this quick video was helpful. If you want to check out Pinklicks, there is a free trial available and the link is in the description or you can just go to pinklicks.com and check it out for yourself. If you are still watching this video, you are an absolute legend, so thanks for that. And I want to invite you to my free school community. If you are serious about growing on Pinterest and growing your blog traffic, feel free to join. It's all free. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope that this quick video was helpful. And if it was, consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.